Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to August wrap up of the month, book wrap up of the month. I keep forgetting every single time, book wrap up. Um, so I read this month 10 books, 10 books so it's not too bad at all and some of them were very anticipated reads but some of them really dis did disappoint me and we'll talk about them obviously. Um, Somehow August seemed like the longest yet the shortest month Like somehow it was dragging by but also flying by Anyone else? No? No? Okay Must be only me But I'm going to start off with the with the most anticipated one Which is Happy Place by Emily Henry And this is the first Emily Henry book that I read And needless to say how disappointed I was actually by it um, everybody kept hyping up Emily Henry and I thought yes like another exciting author to add for my um, you know list and like I just couldn't get into the book honest to god like I kept reading it and I was just like oh, so when am I going to start falling in love with, with the book like you know like I'm 10% in 20, 30, 40, 50 and I was just like it's just really not hitting it for me um, but I did give it two stars, like I kind of see why people rave about her, but it just, I might give her another shot, but I don't think she is for me, for moi. Um, but it's second chance and friends to lovers romance, it just didn't seem realistic for me and it's literally, it's literally a group of uh, friends going on a vacation, like a holiday house. Um, to spend like a week or something like that all together so this group is made out of three couples in it and obviously the main couple in it they have been broken up and they didn't say it to anyone else in the group and they kind of thought it would be easier to just pretend for this week or whatever um, amount of time that they're spending there to just kind of like go along with and just not to tear the group apart basically that's what it is but I found the book the plot just lacked and the characters just like not that they didn't seem likable but like they just lacked personality um the arguments were silly and it definitely felt very overhyped the next book i read which is another anticipated read for me and it's um the fourth book in the actor series and i like don't get me wrong i absolutely love the first three books and I'll talk about the last two books now at the same time so I read like I finished the series um, the fourth book was kind of like a novella very short like 200 something pages and may I say it was only 200 pages but like I was reading it for a good few days and not because like I love the book so much I wanted to savor it and that kind of thing no I just I kept reading it like there were so many multiple POVs and it was more of a cozy fantasy, so basically no high stakes, nothing like exciting really happens. Um, they just go about their lives after the war that just, you know, happened in the last book. And it was just like very chill book. And I wanted that excitement. I wanted that adrenaline that I got in, you know, the other three books. I loved the first three books, like... So much for that reason i gave it three stars like i thought it was okay but purely because it was a cozy fantasy i gave it three stars like I, I thought it was okay basically um the last book in the series i gave it two stars um i kind of knew going into it that i'm not going to like it as much because it's basically nesta's book and she is my least favorite character in the whole series like i despise her like I absolutely I when I say I don't like a character I I mean I really don't like her character I couldn't get into the book I just thought it was just like so flat and so cringy like there's so many spice scenes but they were cringing me out so much and I'm fine reading spice honestly god like I'm fine but like when it's just so cringy like I just I couldn't I obviously the plot only got better within the last 150 pages i feel like and it just made no sense for me to to read the book as three stars when it was only like tiny fraction of the book that i 
you know started to kind of enjoy because that's where all the action started to happen and that's one thing that I will say about Sarah J Maas I feel like within her books the first half of the book seems to kind of go very slowly and then it kind of picks up on the second half of the book but then I was reading the Goodreads reviews and so many people were like saying that they kind of were feeling the same as me like they weren't sure if they would like the book but then they read it and they absolutely loved it gave it five stars I was just like oh maybe no now one of my favorite books that I've read this month is Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand Hel Hildebrand but this is the first book that I read of hers and I enjoyed it so much I gave it four stars 4.25 stars like I, I really enjoyed it um, it was basically about this woman in her 50s who finds out that her husband died in a helicopter crash while he was away at work that's his that's his job basically being a pilot the woman who breaks the news for her is his secretary and so the widow ends up kind of being very suspicious because like none of it made any sense so she goes on to basically collect his ashes it snowballs right from there on with everything that's happened, everything that she finds out. The characters I thought were likable enough. It was just a bit more realistic than just like an average romance book. And so she goes there with her two sons and they kind of have a thing for this woman who lives on the island and how they compete for her and who gets her. And I just thought it was so unique and the plot twist in it, I did not see it coming. Um, boy it's good, it's really good. I'm definitely going to read more of her books and definitely one of the best books I found for like summer beach reads. What I was saying is, um, and it's a book that my auntie bought for me and it's basically like an author that I haven't heard anyone else talk about and so her name is Claudia Carroll and I think, I believe she's an Irish author and I'm, it makes me so excited to find authors, like little authors or small authors that aren't popular enough and if I do like their book, I will go on and read more of their books. Um, this one actually gave 3 stars. I enjoy the plot. Um, maybe even 3.25. Well, that, that's the rating I'll go for. Um, I enjoyed it enough and it just kind of... It seemed a little realistic, just not completely all the way realistic. The concept of the book is being catfished and it's this woman's perception of online dating and what it is like and like it's a little story behind it as well of how she meets her man. The characters were really good, like I liked reading about the characters but um, I just felt like it lacked the backstory for the characters so you kind of get to know them right now, right there and then instead of like getting a little bit of a backstory behind each character like I just want a little bit more, like a little further more <laughs> I don't know but she basically starts um, an online dating page and she meets this pilot and she starts chatting up with him and then her roommate digs up some information on him and it just so happens to things aren't adding up it's not so he's not where he says he's from he's not he doesn't work where he says he works um that kind of thing but there's a whole lot that happens in the story and i thought it was good now the next one that I read is I just wanted to raise it out, out of my, my head basically I just really didn't, didn't enjoy it and it's called The 48 Laws of Power and it's a big book I think it was like 700 pages long and I gave it two stars purely because I thought it was just so manipulative so so problematic and not what I expected it to be at all um, I did enjoy little bits of history references here and there, but it just seemed like a great handbook um, for politicians, anybody who wants to lie, anybody who basically has no morals. Because the things that are being said in this book 
I wouldn't ag agree with much of it and it kind of infuriates me reading it because I thought like there is no way people actually believe any of this it kind of felt like brainwashing so no, I do not recommend I gave it two stars at the time so I feel like just for historical references alone otherwise it would have been one star one star now the next book that I read is Love and Thunder Words by Christina Lauren and this is another anticipated read and this is first time reading anything by Christina Lauren and anyone who doesn't know it's actually two women Christina and Lauren but they write books together and I gave it three stars but it's um, childhood Roma or childhood friends to lover second chance um, small town um, I thought it was okay but there were parts that were kind of cringy um, the main character love interest he seemed so insensitive at first when I was reading about him I didn't like his character um, the main character Macy seemed okay I did enjoy reading about her kind of um, but the whole book it just infuriated me a little bit tiny tiny little bit um, and it's just because it really did remind me of Every Summer After is one of the books that I read and they have very similar plots and they do differ in a couple of things here and there but I honestly preferred Every Summer After than Love and Other Words I think the banter in Every Summer After it definitely felt more summery and the characters I really liked um, the friendship just seemed so genuine and uh, I just really really liked it whereas Love and Other Words I liked it at parts but then I didn't like it at parts and the whole ending like it still happens like people who were so upset with Every Summer After the ending I'm like yeah but like it's very similar ending in Love and Other Words what are you complaining about? It's pretty much the same thing nearly but it's literally about this girl who moves to a summer house and her next door neighbor is actually somebody that she be friends with and his name is Elliot and they kind of like you see how they kind of grow up uh, meeting every so now for weekends and summer but it just the friendship in it just didn't seem as genuine and also I don't know, I just didn't really like it as much. Another really exciting book that I read is Naturals. And anybody who has watched Criminal Minds, anybody who would be obsessed with like um, CSI or anything like that, like I feel like you'd love this book. And it's actually based on teenagers, but I want to say late teenagers, so 17, 18. They have these really great amazing talents so basically like profiling emotion reading statistical like good with stat statistics uh just like really enjoy the book like the plot was basically um the five of them living in an fbi kind of house and they're to be going through cold cases that have that ends and they're to be solving them and in the midst of it, the main character, Cassie, who has just moved into the house, um, she has this interest with her finding her mother is smarter. But the characters were just so likable. I did give it 4.25 stars. I really liked it and I read it within like 24 hours or something like that. Just really enjoyed it. But also it kind of gave me um, the Summer I Turn Pretty kind of vibe because there's these three characters, Cassie who would be Belly, um, Dean who would be uh, Conrad and also Michael who would be Jeremiah and they kind of like, obviously there's a love triangle and you kind of like, oh, I'm so excited to see like what happens in the next book. The next book that I read is called Flawless. Where I see these books all over TikTok and everybody keeps raving. The series is so good. Like I kind of like I kind of see why. Like it's a cowboy romance. And let me tell you, I'm a country girly. I love country music. Like I love the country. Like I love it. And I actually thought I would really out oh, a cramp. Um, but I 
kind of like the plot so i didn't give it three stars but the spice scenes in this were kind of cringy because it's just didn't seem realistic enough and just not something that i would say to the other person or partner or whatever and i kept cringing at them scenes it's based on summer and red summer is the daughter of the agent who is signed with um red and basically he's to clean up his image and summer is there for that reason she is to make sure he doesn't mess up anymore than he already has and turns out she becomes one of his biggest supporters she's being very genuine um she stands up for him like i like that um so i kind of liked it it's just the spice scenes that were kind of like didn't really enjoy um but i still want to continue with the second book in the series uh, and see and make up my opinion on that if i want to continue with the series but like at the moment i'm kind of torn it's a yes and no and i know so many people love the series so i'm hoping it'll pick up with each book and then last but not least which i did leave on a good note and it's called vicious by lj shen and again i have never read anything by the author and i gave 4.5 stars i really enjoyed it and it's supposed to be dark romance um kind of with bully vibes but i after reading okay let me tell you i read carved by penelope douglas and it had very similar vibe to this so um, it's based on four friends as well this one i will say however isn't as spicy as corrupt this one is a bit more pg i want to say it's not like completely pg but it's um massive massive character development for the male interest in this book and i enjoyed reading his book because this is what it was it was his story so um, it's basically based on um baron jr spencer also known as vicious and the book's name is vicious so it's his story and since it is enemies to lovers the tension was tensioning it was so good and anybody who wants to give it a shot go ahead because i wasn't sure if i would like it because sometimes dark romances are hit and miss because sometimes they can be too cringy honest to god and the cover was cringy like can you not tell me that the cover was cringe books that have naked men on them or just like <sighs> i don't know why um but that's all the 10 books that i read in the month of august and and let me know down below what books i should um read next what books i should add to my to be read list have you read any of these books and let me know if you like any of these but i'll see you guys in my next one bye